Okay, this is how I go about making a sunglass. Um, I start with importing some curves from Illustrator. Um, I rebuild them and I use these as a guide. This is the rebuilt curve. You can see the points, uh, the amount of points. You know, pretty minimal. This is this one looks pretty clean to me. Um, yeah. So I then create a patch with that with that with those curves, and the patch gives me this outer surface. Um, you can see there's a concaveness to this surface here. So what I end up doing is not running a patch alone without these cross sections. So I had a bunch of these cross sections. Um, I bow them out a bit and, um, and then I build a patch out off of that. And that gives me uh, a, a better surface. This one's pretty clean. Sometimes uh, I really struggle with getting the surface clean. Um, and, and even when I have like the initial surface, the concaveness to the outside, um, I really struggle and fight with this in not just in the, the this outer surface of the temple, but modeling really any surface or building any surface with the with this process. Uh, I've looked at trying to you know run a two two curve sweep, um, but having this not closed on this end, you know, and having a single curve seems to be the most effective way for me. So next I have these other curves that I've built, you know, I've basically copied and shifted and moved this next curve around. And, um, and then I do a, a two line sweep or a two curve sweep create this surface and I end up running another patch for this inner surface. Uh, looks like I have a little bit of a contour line here. Sometimes running a patch on a curve like this I don't need to add a contour line but in this case I did um, and then I go and I do a blended surface between those two. I end up really struggling with this uh, adding a bunch of cross-section lines to get these, this curve to have some consistency to it, to have it not, you know, poke out and jet out in certain areas. Um, but it's really important in a sunglass arm to have this area soft um, so that it's comfortable for the wearer. And this has been the, the most effective approach that I have found. Um, and then I'll run a, a, a variable adjustable radius around the outside here. Is it um, adjustable blend curve? No, I end up running variable radius blend along that outside. And in tight areas like this, I end up having to bring the radius down tiny or else it just blows up. And um, so I definitely feel restricted in that regard as well. So that's about it for this arm. Um, I'm going to go to the front next. So the front, similarly, I've got some curves imported. I rebuild them and I start off projecting the lens to this sphere, which is the lens I'm using, basically the curve of the lens I'm using. I project it. I, I, I then, you know, when you do a projection, you end up with a million points. So I end up rebuilding it. Um, but this is very important, this front curve surface, uh, that it matches with the lens curve. Not match entirely, but match around the area where the lens is being cut. And that's, that's just really critically important. So I end up with this is the projected onto the lens, and then I end up with these other curves that I build around to create this front surface. And I end up having to run a patch, and this is, sometimes this is really problematic, um, and I have to tinker with it for quite a while. 
and you can see there's a dimple here but it ends up that gets cut out and so I can get away with this form. Uh, there are a lot of subtleties and I compare this to other frames that I've built already um, and end up you know really having to fuss with this quite a bit. Part of it is just the nature of getting getting the shapes right. Um, and let's see, next, uh, these are just more curves that I use to build out the frame. And let's see, this is the final, this is this final frame. Let's see. So the problems, the feedback I love is, is you know, how's this approach? Is there another approach? Uh, one of the things I really like about curves is that if I run a prototype and it doesn't fit right, I can go in and I can adjust curves and, um, and you know, end up having to rebuild, but I can adjust the, the curves and, you know, my, the curves are my go-to. So uh, I appreciate your feedback.